WTFNN. Headline news update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish down 25, NASDAQ off 13, S&P's down 7.5. Now, that's quite impressive, folks, for where we were down in the market. Uh, that being said, uh, I expect on the Sunday night you're still going to have a hard time. Why? Because what we had out here uh, last night uh, in Asia, folks, is that you had Asia down deep. And when I'm talking about down deep, you're talking about from 1.7% to 4.4%. So with us not coming all the way back, what I expect what you're going to see out here is that when Asia does open, Asia wants to go lower. If we look at Shanghai, Shanghai is up 28% from January 4th, and then it goes down 4.4% last night, and it has volume on the way down. Gold contract. Gold contract caught a bit out here. Gold contract um, up uh, $14.20, trading at $1,340. You have silver up $0.33, $15.37. Notes and bonds continue to want higher price, lower yield. They're right next to their highs right now. The 10-year actually ran right into it, has volume as it's coming into it. Uh, we did up two ticks, 122.23, 30-year up five at 145.30, and King Dollar. King Dollar down 328 ticks, 97.300. Now, what King Dollar did do, King Dollar bottom line had went topside yesterday, had the volume, bottom line, pulls back on a weekly basis in the cash market, you have a failure. That's how this is shaking out. The euro is trading at 112.34. The yen is out here at 111.34. And the pound is at 112. If we get over and we take a look at the S&Ps, what you're going to see on the weekly basis is that you're going to see a market that came off its highs, and we actually came off this high with volume. We did 79 million shares today. Yesterday, you did 94 million. When you take this and you put this on the uh, weekly basis, what you have there is that uh, bottom line is that uh, you are down and you are down uh, with uh, some big volume. On the weekly basis, we're down with 414 million, and you're going into 385 million. With that setting up, that's setting up that it wants lower price. Just the opposite in the gold miners. Gold miners bottom line broke topside today, 53 million shares. When we take a look at that, what you've done in the gold miners is you rejected lower price. Uh, we came into uh, 270 million. You had 235 rejected it. That was higher price. Got to love it. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend, folks. We look forward to speaking right back here Monday morning, 9 o'clock.